There was something sour in the air. Like the earth had ruptured over something that had been fermenting for a very long time. A chest that shiny deserved to be opened. There were fewer and fewer trees. There were only these huge crystalline growths. Had those been here before? He no longer heard birds except for the feverish cawing of the ravens when they attacked. He couldn't smell the small animals of the forest. The mice and rabbits. Where had they gone? And he was getting hungry too. This was an unhealthy place to be. to die, he thought. And it was. interested in real estate because you're about to buy the farm. Died a pirate, he thought.
more than he ever had. But about what? The twenty-sided core made him feel physically sick. Once he had sneaked into a temple of the dark arts and he hadn't liked what he smelt and saw there, this felt like that. As quick as he could, he wrangled the icosahedron into the armature. The wheels began to spin, then glow. The sick feeling quickly spun away. Now he only felt sad. He had lost good friends for this war apparatus. He carried his prize back to the Farfarer. Now he had to make his next move. There was a key Imperial outpost on the Nexus. If this really was some sort of super weapon, he could use it to wreak havoc on the enemy. And if it wasn't, well, better to know that before the final battle. But maybe he should show it to some scientists first. There was an observatory on the Nexus. Maybe he should go there before he fired it. Of course, if you've just assembled a weapon out of legend that can exile gods from the world, you'd want to have a scientist or two look at it. And even if they disagreed and he had time, he could ask Calaveras himself. Yes, the observatory would be his objective. Why had the parts of the Sky Ripper only surfaced now, thousands of years after the Transcendent Emperor had dismantled it? The Mad Emperor Isengrim had performed terrible, bloodthirsty rituals to invoke the Lost Gods. Was that why these ancient artifacts were rising out of the ground? How perfect, then, that the Sky Ripper would reappear to be his destruction. Once you try it, you're hooked. For some reason, the owner was always nervous. legendary weapon was exactly what the rebellion needed. They were outnumbered. The once kind emperor had become a tyrant. But his ravens stayed loyal, for he fed them his victims, and the other animals were too frightened to rebel. Renato shuddered at what the emperor was trying to do. To bring back the lost gods, the black harvest, the black sun? No. He would stop that toad, no matter what the risk. What 
did you do if one of these platforms stalled? Bernardo had found his game changer. He would ignore all distractions and focus on the Sky River. Not quite enough, thought Renato. for dinner, he thought. I hope it's not broccoli. a little better. <sighs> Renato was thrilled. The scientists seemed to think he'd put the Sky Ripper together right. But one toad was worried. Yeah, he, the, the Sky Ripper could tear a hole in existence itself. There are invisible strings that tie the universe together. Uh, if the Sky Ripper cut one, the hole would widen and widen until our whole existence uh, fell into it. Another toad sighed. Oh, Irving still believes in string theory. At least go see Calaveras. Hmm, yeah, said the worried toad. He knows more than anyone else has forgotten about the Transcendent Emperor. If anyone could tell him... <laughs> 